Hey, hello friends. Once again, welcome to Ramtub Academy. Please like and share the video with your friends. And if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos, hit the red subscribe button below the video you are watching. Also visit the home page for more videos. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the synthesis of acetylcholine, then its metabolism, and finally the explanation of synthesis, storage, release, and metabolism of acetylcholine with the help of animation. Please watch the video till the end to extract most out of the tutorial. So this is the structure of the acetylcholine, and it is abbreviated as capital A, capital C, and small h. The left group of the molecule is acetyl. while the right group of molecule is choline hence the name of the molecule is acetylcholine acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter involved in the transmission of impulses from one neuron to another neuron or from neuron to organ here i will explain in brief about where the acetylcholine is released mainly acetylcholine works as a neurotransmitter in the peripheral nervous system In case of somatic nervous system acetylcholine is released by the motor neuron at the neuromuscular junction which is present between the motor neuron and the skeletal muscle then in case of autonomic nervous system it does not matter whether it is parasympathetic nervous system or the sympathetic nervous system the neurotransmitter released by the preganglionic nerve is always acetylcholine but it is different for postganglionic fiber In parasympathetic nervous system acetylcholine is released by the postganglionic fiber whereas noradrenaline is released in case of the sympathetic nervous system and finally when acetylcholine binds with the receptors present on the adrenal medulla it triggers the release of the adrenaline in blood circulation now let's discuss the biosynthesis of acetylcholine in first step coenzyme a is acetylated with the help of acetate and atp in the presence of enzyme acetyl-CoA synthetase and forms acetyl-CoA as the acetyl-CoA is synthesized during the reaction name of the enzyme is acetyl-CoA synthetase at high glucose levels acetyl-CoA is produced after glycolysis in which final product of glycolysis that is pyruvate undergoes oxidative decarboxylation and forms acetyl-CoA whereas at low glucose levels acetyl-CoA is synthesized by the process of beta oxidation of fatty acids then in the next step acetyl-CoA combines with choline in the presence of enzyme choline acetyltransferase and forms the neurotransmitter that is acetyl-choline as during the reaction acetyl group is transferred on choline hence the name of the enzyme is choline acetyltransferase now let's see how acetyl-CoA is metabolized If you carefully observe acetylcholine molecule you will see it contains ester linkage which can be broken down or hydrolyzed by the enzyme esterase so acetylcholine in the presence of enzyme acetylcholine esterase gets hydrolyzed or broken down into acetate and choline and mainly this metabolism occurs at the synapses now we are going to discuss about how acetylcholine is synthesized stored released and metabolized at the ganglion site this is the preganglionic nerve fiber and this one is the postganglionic nerve fiber having cholinergic receptors about cholinergic receptors we will discuss in my next video here you can see the gap between the preganglionic nerve and the postganglionic nerve which is known as synapse actually preganglionic nerve fibers are embedded with the choline transporters through which choline is actively transported inside the neuronal cell along with the sodium ions and this transport can be inhibited by the hemicholinium once choline is inside the preganglionic nerve it reacts with the acetyl coa in the presence of enzyme choline acetyltransferase and forms the acetyl choline then in the next step acetyl choline is transported into the presynaptic vesicles with the help of specific carrier protein where it is stored for a period to avoid the degradation and this carrier transport can be inhibited by the vesemicol then in the next step when action potential reaches to nerve terminal it opens the voltage gated calcium channels which allows the entry of calcium 
inside the inner windings when sufficient concentration of calcium is reached it fuses with the presynaptic vesicles and causes the diffusion and with the process of exocytosis acetylcholine is released into the synapses this neurotransmitter release can be inhibited by the botulinus toxin once acetylcholine is released into the synapse either it can bind with the receptors present on the postganglionic nerve or the organs and show its effect or it gets metabolized by the enzyme acetylcholinesterase and forms choline and acetate this newly formed choline again taken back into the preganglionic nerve through the choline transporters where it is used to synthesize another molecule of acetylcholine okay friends this is the end of the tutorial thanks for watching the video i hope you like the video if you like then like and share the video with your friends and comment below and if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos then hit the subscribe button thank you goodbye